Welcome to the Home Depot Center where we are now beginning the second cycle of training for the 2011 January camp. 24 of 25 players are here in Carson to start this week's training. We spoke with U.S. Assistant Coach Mike Sorber about how the first week of training went and also what it's like to have so many new faces in with the U.S. national team. The first few days were uh, just getting started. We wanted to, to implement or emphasize more the soccer uh, versus just the, the physical fitness and so uh, that part I think has gone well because it's given the guys an opportunity to play some small games, uh, smaller numbers, uh, whether it was to small goals or to big goals and, and start to implement and talk about uh, the different ideas that we're trying to help these guys understand and, and incorporate into their game. It's a really new and fresh group so uh, you know the attitude has been great. Their their excitement to be here is has been very high, and so uh, their openness and their ability to listen and, and try to take in all the information that's kind of coming at them on a daily basis, uh, I think has been positive. Uh, and then you know to add with that, the work on, on the soccer uh, has been good, and they've been able to put some plays together, and we've been been able to move ourselves forward and and create some good soccer opportunities. I think it's always important uh, for the players to get to know the coaches and for the coaches to get to know the players on a more intimate basis uh, where you can interact with them, uh, coach them, and see them up close. Uh, it's one thing to watch them in a game uh, and what roles they play within their team, but now we have to try to figure out how they will fit into our ideas, into our system, uh, and into our plans. Next week will be a, a little more physical, a little more fitness aspect. So I think we've, we've gotten the guys going, their bodies are starting to acclimate to, to the daily demands. Uh, and now, you know, we need to increase the volume a little bit uh, so that their, their ability to play uh, longer periods of time on bigger fields and bigger spaces uh, continues to improve because ultimately we have to be ready for a game on the 22nd. The National Training Center also hosted last week the USSF coaching course where A licensed candidates and auditors got the unique chance to watch the U.S. men's national team training session and also spend time with a quality discussion with U.S. coach Bob Bradley. For these candidates it was truly an amazing opportunity to trade ideas with the top coach in the United States. Bob Bradley's explaining that it's an honor for him to be the national team coach for aspiring coaches to be in that kind of environment and have you know an informal discussion quite frankly uh, with that kind of level coach is tremendous tremendous you know it's it can be inspiring informative motivating all those things factor in the check and balance system that we have every day looking at our players looking at what we do talking about training looking at games everything that that part the scrutiny that we put everything under um, helps us continue to move along. He's very, um, you can see when he gets into his coaching uh, practices, you know, his, his voice changes, he's very demanding, um, which uh, I've never been a part of, you know, a national team training session with Bob. Um, but then when he comes in you and he talks to you as a coach, he's very mellow and he's very, you know, very personable. Um, so you get different, you know, different axes. I think a lot of people found that very, uh, very intriguing, actually, the different side of him. I think that um, he wholeheartedly explained his vision and that he's going to tell it in black and white and that uh, um, that he you know wants there to be a good standard because he believes in you know our country and and what he's doing and I think that that uh, you you get that sense uh, from hearing him speak it's been a pleasure you know being here uh, being a pleasure to watch the national team train and, and you know like Bob said it, it's not very different from what we would do with our kids um, but it, you know it's a terminology you use and there's different little uh, uh, aspects that, that the national team does differently than we, than we do so it's interesting to see and listen to Bob when he talks about that. The idea that the course takes place when the national team is here uh, a tremendous opportunity and to see you know any top level team train is excellent when it's your own country even better.